This is an iPhone. <laughs> Many people say that Steve Jobs' idea of the iPhone is innovation. But I don't agree with that statement. My name is Shashank Sarolu. I'm a senior at Olin Tangy Liberty High School, and I want to welcome you guys to my home, COSI. I've been a volunteer here for about four years now, and I'm also the chairman of the Teen Advisory Council. And what we do in the Teen Advisory Council is basically we're a group of people, a group of teenagers from Central Ohio that come together and talk about ways where we can incorporate science learning into teenagers outside of the classroom. And we meet up every month and we plan these late night teen events, which are seasonal. And they're these events where on Friday nights, teens come down to COSI, come through the doors, and they get to experience science in a fun and educational manner. So uh, when I was at these events, I, I'm, I'm, when I'm managing these events, I, I, I used to see a pattern. And these teenagers would, would come through the doors, and there'd be about three to four exhibits at these events. And there, there would always be one exhibit that used to be the most popular um, compared to everybody, every other event there. And uh, for our last event, it was the dry ice exhibit where we would, ha we would made ice cream through dry ice. And that received the most people, you know, mo the most um, enthusiasm around that exhibit. And the other exhibits weren't as popular. So there would always be this reoccurring pattern where one event would be the most popular throughout the night. And I pretty much stumbled across the innovative moment in time. And this is where I came up, I stumbled across this pattern and I wanted to do something about it. There, there's always one event and this one event used to attract all the teenagers around it. So what's special about that event? Why is that event attracting everybody else? And uh, I wanted to see, I wanted to do something about this and I wanted to see why teenagers do this. So I, I started this research project with COSI and um, it's basically gonna study the psychology of teenagers in various science learning environments. And this is kind of what I stumbled across with my innovative moment in time. And I'm going to talk about this later. So I'm in the process of developing this research project with COSI at the moment. And it's going to be a pretty large project later on throughout the year. We're going to have, uh, uh, we're going to have the TAC members, the Teen Advisory Council members be a part of it. We're going to have a bunch of other organizations be part of it. And we're going to uh, share the results, share our observations with local school districts so that we could improve science classrooms in the area. So. I went through the innovative moment in time. And when I was doing this project, I came across innovation as being a three-step process. I found that innovation was a three-step process, not just finding the idea, but there are two other steps to it. So the first step, I've already talked about it, is identifying a pattern, identifying a problem, and then identifying a solution. The first step is identify. And people have great ideas. They, they have ideas you know, on their blogs, they have ideas in their diaries, they have ideas on their Facebook statuses, they have ideas written down on napkins at, at a dining room table. But it's what you do with those ideas that defines innovation. So this leads me to step number two, which is act. And act is the hardest part of innovation. It is where you get your idea and make it concrete. And the reason is, it is hard is because it takes a lot of persuasion, a lot of convincing, a lot of convincing to yourself that you want to pers persuade, pursue an idea that um, will make and make it concrete. So you, taking the leap from identify to act is a very difficult process. I mean, there are so many ideas out there that are brilliant. I talk to my friends, and when we're con conversing, you know, we we stumble across these ideas that no one ever writes down, and no one ever, no one ever, you know, puts it on paper. But those ideas don't get anywhere. You know, they, they're all just written down somewhere, they're in your head, but you don't act on it. And I can say now that if everybody acted on every single one of their ideas that they've written down or brainstormed, the world be in a, would be in a much more developed state. So the second step of innovation is act, and it is the most difficult process. But with the third step of innovation, all this becomes a little bit easier. And this is satisfaction. This is being self-satisfied with your idea, with your project, and that will lead you to take, that will take you from identify to act smoothly. So being self-satisfied, um, being involved in your process will make, the whole, will make the whole innovation process easier. So your self-satisfaction will, will lead to the satisfaction of others around you. Now it's up to you to find your idea, to find what you wanna do, to find your passion, and make it concrete to go through the three-step process of innovation to create something that will benefit society. 
There are ideas everywhere. Ideas abound. It's up to you to find those ideas and make them concrete and have an impact on society. So this is the most important thing that I want you guys to take away from my presentation today. It is that innovation is not an idea. Innovation is not an idea. Innovation is action. Innovation is making something concrete and showing it to society and benefiting society through that idea or concept. Now coming back to the iPhone, Steve Jobs' idea of the iPhone is not innovation. What Steve Jobs did with his idea, what, what, what he did and what, how he made this idea concrete, that is innovation. You know, he, he identified a, a device that would change how we work, would improve our efficiency, but he didn't stop there. He created a product, he worked with his engineers, he created a product, and he was so self-satisfied with this product that he wanted to share it with the world for us to benefit from. So that is what innovation is all about. So if you go through the three steps of innovation, identify, act, and satisfy, you will unlock the innovator in you. Thank you.